are doing the Evansdale murders, okay? Um, this has been a subscriber request. Thank you for reaching out to me regarding this case. It has been one that I've been aware of uh, for quite some time. I've been meaning to do it. Uh, I think other cases have just called me in. Um, and there's been a lot of personal things over the last few years I've been dealing with. So, and studying at uni, there's so much stuff getting in the way. Because with this particular one, I really wanted to dive into it um, and have time to really do a case analysis as well. So that's something I could still do. Um, but this, for those who don't know the case background, there were two young um, girls who were cousins. Elizabeth Collins, who was eight years of age, and Lyric Cook, who was ten, um, who disappeared from their Evansdale town, um, town of Evansdale. They were on their bikes. They went for a bike ride um, down a bike trail, and I think they were found in remote bushland 20 miles east of Evansdale. So they were basically abducted and killed from that um I think they were near Lake Myers is where their bikes were found. I'm just trying to look at my notes here. Um, I like to get a little bit of a, you know, a background, but I like it to be vague enough so that I can still keep my mind open. Um, but I usually like to get the background of, you know, where, when, who, you know, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so they, their bikes and Elizabeth's purse were found on a trail southeast um, of the corner, the southeast corner of Lake Myers, around 4 p.m. the same day they'd gone missing. And it wasn't until five months later, in December 2012, that uh, it was actually on the 5th of December. They went missing on July 13th. Um, but on the 5th of December, their remains were found by hunters who came across their remains. Um, and that was about 25 miles away from where they were last seen by witnesses, um, you know, riding around on their bikes between 12.30 and 1.00 p.m. that day. So, oh gosh, so we're going to have a look today at, you know, a lot of you know what I do with my readings. I like to look at the energy of the girls and of the perpetrator, or there might be more than one perpetrator. We just don't really know yet. Um, yeah, so... Their bodies were found in bushland. They weren't buried as far as I know. From what one of the photos shows, you can see, um, you know, at the crime scene from an aerial view that there are uh, sheets being placed over the remains. So um, I'm assuming that, you know, there, there was um, visible remains there. They weren't buried. The hunters found them uh, as well. So... Yes, it's interesting. So we, we don't really know the ins and outs of the story, um, what actually happened to them. Police are keeping that close to their chest or to their vest. Um, they don't want to, you know, they want to, re um, what am I saying? They want to keep the integrity of the case, um, preserve that. So, you know, it's only what the killer knows kind of thing. Um, but yeah, we're going to see. And I feel a bit down, like I feel a bit down talking about this. I'm just feeling a little bit, um, like I'm okay, I'm okay to do the reading, but as I'm just tuning in, I just feel really, really quite depressed about it. Uh, I don't know who I'm tuning into. I'm sure the girls are in heaven as we know it right now, but there's just this real, um, oh gosh, I can't explain it, guys. I'm, I'm in Australia. I've got no idea what the um, that wildlife place is like around them, but I feel like there's this blanket of energy around that bushland, and I think it's even before the girls were there. There's just a blanket of energy. I can't explain it. It's, it's energetic. Um, hmm, yes. I'm not saying it's everywhere around there. There's some beautiful places around there, I'm sure. But there's a certain part of that bushland which feels very grey, just a grey energy about it. Uh, something doesn't feel right about it, actually. It feels a bit off. I don't know if there's been other victims there that might still be there. I mean, oh, God, I'm just wondering. Because that's the kind of energy. It's very eerie. Um, yeah, far out. So I don't know if this person that did this to them lives there you know if they camp out there or whatever it might be around that area um 
Yes, we're gonna we're gonna find out about some stuff here. We're gonna get an idea as to the main energy of this perpetrator, the energy of the girls. Uh, you know, we're gonna see all this stuff here. Thank you, angels. We're gonna get started now. So, can we see what was the energy of the girls on the day? You know, obviously they're going to be in a good, happy energy. Um, but I just want to see before they left to go, what were they feeling? So what was Elizabeth feeling as they were riding off towards the bushland right there? Elizabeth, what was she feeling as they were riding off towards the bushland? Ah, balanced. I'm, I'm not laughing. I'm just thinking that her on her bike, you know, she's probably trying to balance. Maybe she was on a real big bike. I don't know. You know, how's, like I know I did as a little girl. I used to jump on a big bike much bigger than me. Um, so maybe that's what that was there. I don't know. I don't know the story. I don't know the girls. Very cheeky natured. Very cheeky. Very happy. Very jovial. Um, being cheeky with Lyric. And let's see what Lyric's energy was. What was Lyric's energy? Empathic. So she was really in tune with Elizabeth and her environment. Very open and sensitive girl. Um, and also very receptive. Yeah, interesting. So she was open to the adventure. Just really in the elements. She loved being outdoors in the elements. They both did. They both loved that kind of thing. Um, I wonder if, yeah, Elizabeth was a bit younger. She was eight, so she could have been just, you know, following following along, really looked up to Lyric and wanted to be really much like her. So let's get the shadow energy when they've come across the perpetrator. Let's get the shadow energy, please. <clears throat> Shadow energy of Elizabeth, please, at the time she's met the perpetrator. <sighs> at the time she's met the perpetrator, please. What energy was Elizabeth in? Gosh, help me. Sorry, guys. They're coming out everywhere. Yes, what energy was Elizabeth, Elizabeth in, please? Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, geez. Held hostage. Absolutely, at that time, and guilt. Mm. She might have felt guilty for something. What was she feeling guilty for? There might have been a decision that could have been made at that at that time, and she didn't go with it. So this is, oh gosh, this is making so much sense to me as well as I'm reading even further into this lyric had some kind of street knowledge and I'm not saying that Elizabeth wasn't switched on but for some reason very different souls maybe different backgrounds in some ways I'm not sure but for some reason Lyric maybe being the older one a little more mature had felt something instantly off with this guy and she might have been saying come on let's go and you know she might have been riding off and then Elizabeth has stopped and just nervously spoken to the guy like she's trying to get back on her bike but she's talking to him to try and be kind I think she's not wanting to be rude and that might be the guilt that she was feeling that she didn't listen to lyric and then therefore she might have been the first one held hostage she might have been the one that he first got a hold of and then lyrics had to come back she's freaked out that's just what I'm getting. I'm not saying this is 100% correct, uh, but that's just, yeah, I'm tuning into something. What was Lyric's energy, please, at the time of the perpetrator uh, coming across them? What was her energy, please, spirit? Evasive. She didn't want to engage with him. She was just trying to keep it really... Uh, Yep, she just wanted to ignore him and just keep going, not give him the time of day, not, not look him in the eyes, not pay attention, not engage in any kind of conversation. She just wanted to get out of there. Coercion. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> now, when I see this too, like, you know, it's obviously not just 
the girl's energy, like it's what's around them, the shadows around them, is that she may have felt forced to have to, oh, I keep getting the words, turn back. So they're on their bikes, don't forget. Bikes are quite fast once, you know, little kids get on them and, and they ride fast somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel that in some way she felt forced maybe to even get off her bike um, because I feel I feel that Elizabeth was the one f first captured. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting sick. I feel sick, guys. I just feel sick. I just feel sick tuning into this. It's it's around that area as well. It's not just the crime or even the perpetrator. It's around the whole area. It's really strange. I I would love to know the history of that of those grounds there. Uh it's got a very suppressive energy if that makes sense or oppressive energy. Um as well around it. It might be very eerie, like you kind of are there in the middle of the bushland. It's just so deadly silent. I don't know. It's just a weird feeling, which is weird because it's a wildlife park. There'd be so much, so much wildlife around, but it's just there's a certain area that just feels like it's really eerie and quiet. Um, but anyway, around this time, this is what's happening here. Let's get the perpetrator's energy. <sighs> okay, let's see what kind of persona he was putting up in, to them, okay? introverted he was he's introverted yep I really feel he is too fair mm, okay so I do read them differently sometimes to what my questions asking so yeah I get uh, I get this feeling that he was trying to come across as a reasonable person um, so that they would initially uh, feel that, oh, this guy's okay. And it's so weird because it's just so similar in, in a lot of ways to the Delphi thing. Like how I'm reading it, I'm thinking, geez, this sounds so much like how a perpetrator um, was conversing with, you know, and interacting with Libby and Abby. I mean, it could be a completely different person. We really don't know at the end of the day. I mean, there, the stranger things have happened where you look at two cases and think, oh, my God, this is seriously the same person. And at, sometimes it's not. Um, I don't know yet which one it is, but I just find it really, excuse me, really interesting that this person is coming across as initially, uh, even as, this is the weirdest thing, even as he has held them hostage and is... Um, Maybe even threatening them or holding them, you know, I, I, he did have a weapon. It could have been a gun, could have been a knife, but I see a weapon, definitely a weapon on him. Um, and what I see is that even though he is forcing them down, I don't know if he's gone taking them in a car or what he's done, but he's forcing them. I don't really get it as such just yet in my vision uh, how far they've gone. But um, what I see is that he's also talking to them. Like, you just got to trust me kind of thing. It's, it's, he's, very, he's very gruff in the way he speaks to them. It's very gruff. There's no real niceness, but he's almost like he's trying to still uh, manipulate and uh, it's just hard, such a hard thing to say here, guys. I'm trying to explain it. It's like he's intimidating through his actions, but he's luring them away whilst he's still talking to them. Like you, It's almost like he's saying, if you do as I say, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? Like It's, it's not like he's coming right out and saying, I'm not going to kill you. But if you, if you just do what I say, you'll be fine kind of thing. Ugh, God, it's making me sick. <sighs> it's making me sick. What else was he like? Mm-hmm. Funny. This guy's a real weirdo. He might have been even cracking jokes. And it, it would make sense too if there is another one, like another perpetrator with him, if they were kind of laughing together. Oh, God, I don't know. But, yeah, he's come across as uh, almost like joking, maybe laughing at them and snickering. I don't know. It's weird energy. This guy's weird. This guy's really weird. Empowered. Oh, my God. Yep. He's a loser. He's such a loser. This is, they say a lot of the time killers or serial killers often have these really um, 
Oh, like these really ingrained issues, like it can be antisocial behavior, narcissistic disorder. Um, it can be somebody who has had issues with abandonment or rejection. Just very weird. They go weird with it. Um, yeah, let's get an idea, please, spirit. Let's get an idea of what did we did we see his? Uh, no, we haven't seen his shadow energy. Let's see his shadow energy, please, spirit. Oh my gosh, explosive. So at one point with Elizabeth, maybe, he has lost it. Maybe she didn't move fast enough or something. Yeah, maybe he felt she was being defiant in some ways. Um, it's interesting, though, because I don't really feel she would have, you know, she was scared. They were obviously scared of him. But she might have just frozen in fear and her little legs just weren't walking because she was just scared. Like, what do I do? And he would have seen that as defiant. Maybe he's very defiant too as a person. Sabotage with Lyric. Ghosting. Oh my God, didn't I say antisocial? Antisocial. Hmm. Sabotage. Not sure what that is. Sabotage. The ghosting is interesting because I feel like maybe uh, because she was maybe the older one, a bit bigger than Elizabeth, he might have felt that he had to really um, pow put his power on her, if that makes sense. Like really, oh, it's hard to explain. Like maybe he was holding her and forcing Elizabeth down verbally somewhere um, because he might have felt that she would just take off and disappear. M maybe he sensed something within her that she could just be flighty, but at the same time, they're not going to leave each other. I don't believe she would have left her cousin there. Um, but this is his energy as well. I'm just trying to understand. I'm not getting it completely. Uh, can we get another one on that, please? Because when someone's antisocial, they do disappear from society. Um, you know what it tells me, too, is that maybe he was hiding. Uh, it could have been hiding, spying on them, and spooked them yeah he gets that's oh that's the funny humor coming through he finds it hilarious that you know he's putting fear into these girls and very secretive yeah very secretive anti-social private quiet introverted kind of person um bit of a yeah definitely a weirdo so, I mean, all serial killers and killers are weird to a degree, but this guy's really weird. Um, yes, he talks to himself a lot. Right, and I'm getting, I am actually, and it's interesting, because earlier, before I was even doing the reading, I was obviously thinking about the girls. I always do that when I'm about to do a reading. I just get, you know, Google up and say, okay, who is it? What's their name? How old were they? And that kind of thing. And as I was doing that, I could see this brown head, excuse me, I'm <laughs> burping, sorry guys. Sometimes I feel like I'm channeling through and that's like a fear coming up. It's interesting how that works. It's so strange. Um, but I've noticed it happens when I'm doing my crime readings. It's so weird. Um, but anyway, with this, I felt that, he, well, I saw that he had brown hair, like dark brown hair. It's kind of longish up the top and I see a beard and he's a bit scruffy looking. So, wow, Eight of Pentacles, yep, someone who may camp in the woods, um, hiding behind trees, things like that. Someone who maybe even be, he could even be a hard-working guy. Uh, if it's like in an industry, could be um, in, you know, in what am I saying, industrial area, factory work. I mean, we saw that with the Delphi thing. I mean, we don't <laughs> look at the guy they've caught. He worked in a pharmacy, of all things. The moon, oh, yeah, he hangs out there at night. I'm thinking that he camps out there or something. Weird. The hanged man? Oh, God, he hasn't killed himself, has he? <sighs> but the hanged man is also representative of somebody who will just hang around and wait as well yes until they can gain some clarity as to what they're doing so this could have been a planned thing where he was just hanging out camping the night before there 
Um, maybe he's a little, well, I wouldn't say transient. I think he's local. Uh, but maybe sometimes he's such a recluse that he just takes off to the bush, you know, and just hangs out at the bush. Okay, Sunshine was just going a bit crazy, for those who know she's my little little yellow cockatiel. Um, but he may have a, um, a tattoo and some, as I see here, facial hair. I definitely see facial hair on this guy. And I mean, I know people can change too, like, you know, they can shave it and that. But I see at the time, and even maybe now if he is alive, uh, I see this facial hair on him. Mm, there's mother mother issues with this guy too. Yeah, it's very defiant. Got a defiance of authority here too. He doesn't like authority. Doesn't like being told what to do. Right, let's have a look here. We're going to get an idea. Can we see, please, spirit? Uh, can you give me some ideas as to whether this was planned? or? Well, I do feel like it was planned, but I'm talking about were these particular girls targeted or did he just, you know, come across them as the victims that he was looking for at the time queen of wands hmm interesting it's a female female and fast travel now sometimes these cards don't have to represent a, a male or female it can actually be a male as well their energy uh, but I have to say I do feel a female I feel a female. I don't know why I'm seeing that. I don't believe she was there uh, at the time the murders were happening. Uh, but she may have information. She may have information. And you know what's really interesting? Is that... Yes, the FBI profile that I read stated that he would not necessarily... Um, they don't think that he would be discussing, like he would be a void... He would avoid, I should say, discussing this crime with others and he would not show much interest in the matter. And to me, that means somebody who is antisocial, who may be even ashamed of what they've done. Um, it could be either that, okay. Um, but there's this woman, I don't really like her energy. I have to say that. There's somebody, I don't like her energy. I don't feel like she's so much like a, I don't know if she's a victim. Um, could be his girlfriend. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've brought Sunshine into my room. I'm hoping she's going to be a little bit less loud. Oh my gosh. Okay, so interesting, this woman here. She has information. She knows about things here. She might even be covering for this guy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Got the cat there. Someone might own a cat. Could be the longish hair that he might have. Something along those lines. Could be. Doesn't have to be. Uh, but yeah, let's see what else. What else is coming up here? Oh my gosh, there's the death card. The death card and the ace of pentacles. Yep, that's in the bushland right there. So we do know that. It's been confirmed that the, uh, the girls were killed outside you know amongst the trees there um i'm still wondering is this guy alive hmm is this guy still alive i don't know why i'm thinking that it's just it's just maybe the hanged man things come up i don't know let me just suss it out could have been a drug overdose who knows if he is a drugger so, okay, the hermit, yeah, introverted energy, very secretive, keeps to himself, only comes out maybe at night, um, maybe he's a night owl, he does really like his own company, uh, even with the girlfriend in his life, maybe it's on and off, or he just doesn't, or it could be very casual, okay, I don't feel like he's very much committed to this person, um, yeah, there's the star and the, yeah, the star once again, we're looking at night time. Yep, out looking up above the stars. Like he's really an outdoorsy person and he likes being outdoors alone. And it's not to say that he doesn't live in a house, you know, and he's never there. Uh, but I feel like, especially around the time of these girls' murders, he was maybe, uh, could have been like semi homeless living out of a car. Four of Swords. 
Once again, we've got the gravestone, which is interesting here. So I'm still wondering, is he alive? Oh, it's weird. I've never had this with a reading before where I've questioned whether the killer is still alive. There might have been some real health issues with this guy. I don't think he was a very healthy person. Might have lived a really... Uh, yeah, might have lived a really unhealthy life. Very dysfunctional person. Um, dysfunctional relationships in his life. Um, doesn't like people, okay? He doesn't like people. He doesn't like being around people. Um, and there's the chariot, which is the vehicle. So I'm wondering, did he take the girls in a vehicle? But there's something about his vehicle that is really, uh, may, help, may hold clues, okay? Might be uh, bloodstains in there from a weapon or clothing. Uh, Yet yeah, there could still be some blood in there. So when I see blood then, it might show that they, you know, they might have been stabbed or shot. I'm seeing, I am seeing the blood. Uh, so, in other words, I don't believe that they were just strangled or something like that. I'm not just saying just, sorry, but you know what I mean. I don't believe that they were, uh, I mean, he may have tried doing that, but I, I just feel like there's blood and the vehicle holds a key to something here. But, uh, hmm, let's see, has he still got that vehicle too, you know what I mean? So, oh, this guy, oh my lord. I saw, oh my lord, okay, I just saw that he has kids, mm-hmm, he has, um, well, at the time of the murders, I feel like there were young children around him, and there's the five of chalices, which is the grief, um, yeah, interesting, it's showing the person out in the woods at night, that's the female energy, it's interesting, uh, it could just be a symbolic thing of, obviously, you know, the mother and um, the family just grieving for the child, children and not knowing where they were. But I do feel like there is grief, uh, maybe around his own mother as well. Hmm. So whether he's got some real issues, maybe she was unwell there's some there's something there with his relationship with his mother it's weird um and when i say that i feel like there's some really unresolved uh things going on there where he might feel a lot of anger towards her excuse me yeah that fear's coming up again i told you i burp when i'm getting that fear it's so weird um i've only just realized it what that means um because as i'm doing readings and i'm feeling what they're feeling like a fear or something um that's what comes up for some reason um he never felt good enough he never felt like he was good enough for his mother she's she's somebody who might be i feel like there's a mother who has a mental illness i feel like she also talks to herself um and we've got the two of wands here so outdoors once again uh, two directions he's gone with the girls so it could be that you know they had that bike trail and then they've gone somewhere else um and it could have been that he was yeah he took them to a place where he has camped before so where their bodies were found he has camped around there before you might this sounds so much like delphi i know but i feel like he does fish and he may even hunt page of chalices the girl in the water I, well, I don't know if they were in the water um but I do know at one point I'm pretty sure there was another suspect who had actually killed two girls and one was found in a lake or a river um but I think the police ruled him out but it's just interesting that anyway we're looking at a lake I mean the girls were right near a lake so you know it's just representing one of the girls here Yep, the High Priestess is the uh, secrets. Yep, there's a female. She's holding secrets, I'm telling you. Because this is a feminine energy. It's very emotional, very psychic energy as well. Uh, once again, night time. Look at all the moon and stuff. It's interesting. So, there's something around that's significant around night time around this. 
I don't know, maybe she, maybe they do night work or... Oh, I don't know what, I can't, I actually cannot tune into what that exactly is. But it's it's just interesting that she's there quite strongly. Quite strongly. And it's, it's interesting though, because I don't feel that she's take uh, taken part in it. I don't think she's she's egged him on or she's a killer herself. I feel like it's more that she has knowledge she's not sharing and she's standing by him. So yeah, he might have come right out and told her or she has suspected it and guessed it on her own, but she's not saying anything. And it's interesting because some people could say, well, it's because she's scared. Oh, maybe deep down there might be a fear. But I feel mostly what I get is that there's like a loyalty. Uh, Four of Pentacles here. Once again, an outdoor event. This person, I'm seeing all these um, hoods, like hoodies. She might wear hoodies on these females. Look at them all with their their robes, you know, the robes and the hood. Another Another one. So they're all wearing, I suppose in this deck, they all do kind of wear the robes. But I'm seeing all the females, all the, all the dark hair too. Dark hair on these women long dark hair perhaps that that person has and she doesn't come from a very good background i do wonder if there is a drug drug like she does drugs or something they do drugs together and they might deal with drugs six of pentacles oh my gosh the two girls it just makes me sad yeah, that's them exploring, you know, having fun where they were. And I said, I'm telling you, this guy's got kids. And I'm not sure if she's the mother of the kids. There might be one that she's the mother of. Uh, I feel like this guy's been in and out of relationships. And the Queen of Swords, interesting. This is the mother, one of the girl's mothers, um, wanting this justice... Yep, this is her standing strong here. Standing very strong, want, needing that justice, not backing down. Doing all her research, the Two of Swords. Yep, no answers coming in, it's really sad. Let's get my crime oracle happening. <sighs> February, could be a significant time. Car accident, mm-hmm, interesting. Because when I was saying that about the chariot with the vehicle, I wondered if, now I didn't say it, but I was wondering, has he crushed his car? Did he crush his old car? Uh, well, I don't know why I'm saying an old car. Maybe it was an old car. Or there's, he's had an accident and there's dents in it he hasn't fixed. Natural causes. Someone's going to, to uh, die from maybe a heart attack or something. Or, or in a car accident, could be dying from um, behind the wheel from a natural ailment and then crashes. March. He'd really kind of... Dark night wandering alone, secluded. I'm telling you, this guy is a wanderer. And once again, the hoodie. Um, so I do feel like he could be in his 40s. I'm getting someone who might be in their 40s around that time. Summer. Summertime. we got a bridge. Holy crap. Oh, well, isn't it called, yeah, hang on, isn't it called the Seven Bridges Wildlife Park? Hmm, but it could be that he hangs around bridges. I don't know, some people are weird like that. Um, if he's maybe camping or very, very secretive, quiet person, wants to hide away, you know, if people visit that area, he, he doesn't want to really be seen, he might hide under a bridge. Um, but it's interesting, people think, oh, it's, it's connected with Delphi, with the bridge, you know. I've got a male suspect, we know that he is, well, they may not know 100% with evidence that he's a male, but, yep, uh, yep, he's a male. An old abandoned barn shed, isolated, June is coming up as well, so these may obviously make sense later on, um, but, yeah. Something could be in an old abandoned barn shed. It could be his vehicle. Could be that he hasn't driven it. You know, he might still keep it. So that could be something as well. That he hasn't gotten rid of the vehicle, but he drives another vehicle. Um, yeah. Just going to put my intention in this. Anything else we can learn, please, spirit. 
Yeah, we do know their bodies were retrieved. And we've got burned down fire arson. Interesting. Hmm. Is that something he's into? Known to police. So interesting. In the system, criminal record. It's so interesting because when I saw that hanged man, I don't know why I don't say half the things I think, um, but when I saw that hanged man card, I thought, and with the tattoos and that, uh, for some reason I was thinking he has been in trouble with the law before. And it would make sense if he's had a... Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, there was an interruption. Um, I feel like... And it's interesting because that was a knock on the door. And sometimes I see these things symbolically too. Like, was this somebody that would constantly get knocks on the door, you know, if he was selling drugs or something like that? Because I do feel like there's some element there that this person um, is, yeah, I, I get that feeling that he doesn't have a lot of money. He struggles in the world. Um, there might be anxiety, depression. Uh, with this person, anger, wow, internet messaging, social media, yep, he's checking up on developments of the case, he's been following it, I wouldn't be surprised if he has actually created profiles and has been speaking on Reddit or something along those lines, um, you know, some people could say, well, you know, did he message the girls or anything like that i don't I really don't get that idea actually i don't feel like this was a catfishing with lyric and elizabeth hmm boat oh look shit boat body of water kidnapped abduction that's where they were kidnapped right near the lake oh god just confirming it wow okay two to four people small intimate group so this could mean that there's this is some people know about this, which is just so weird because you know the FBI profile says he will not discuss it, uh, or it could mean that at the moment he's living in a shared house, like he's if he's alive that is, um, he lives with small intimate family, like he has a small family perhaps, and it could be that in some ways he does not really have a big family. He may have been disowned by family members or they've just, you know, um, been estranged or disconnected from a very young age. Maybe he was fostered out or something along those lines. Uh, it kind of feels like there's this disconnect with family members. And, in you know, over time, perhaps there's been friends that have come to be family, uh, something like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm, and I'm also seeing, look at that, uniform impersonation, corruption, false, interesting. Um, did he dress up as like a, a wildlife ranger or something? Uh, could he be one? I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Um, yeah, it would be interesting to know what he was dressed like. Um, you know, I know a lot of people go on about corruption with police and I know there's a lot of it. I don't actually feel that, I don't know, for some reason I'm just not connecting with this being a policeman or a person in LE. I really don't get that feeling that somebody in LE killed the girls. I just don't feel that with Lyric and Elizabeth. I really feel that this guy is local. He's in his, I feel like he's around his 40s. Yeah, I reckon he was in his 40s. And, um... I'm getting like someone who's, oh, he's skinny. I, I can see like uh, on his arms, like I feel like there's like this, he's got like a darker skin, but I think it's like from a tan. It, I'm wondering if it's like tanned skin, someone who's been outdoors a lot. Uh, it's almost like got a bit of that, it looks older than his age, if that makes sense. It looks a bit more wrinkled. I'm getting... Um, Definitely drugs could be part of that too, because it can make, especially if it's meth related, uh, can make people's skin change so drastically and dramatically. I've seen like these photos where meth, you know, users will uh, look a certain way and they'll look normal. And then three months later, they look so skinny and they've got sores on them and they just, you can tell they've been a drug user. And I'm wondering if this guy has been on it for a while. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, guys. Um, yeah, look at that. Secrets cover up with holding information. There's a, there's a very small group. Now, it could be two people. It doesn't have to be four people. But it's, it's a very small group of people that have information. It could even be three, seeing as there's three there. And I feel like that woman, his girlfriend or, or ex or whoever she is in his life, she's got information. And, wow, held captive, hiding, locked away, hidden. I don't think that Lyric and Elizabeth are his first victims. Or, I mean, if they were, he's had other ones after. I feel like there was somebody... Um, God, I wonder if it was an ex of his or something. Because I think he can turn. I think he can be very violent and explosive like we saw over here. He can be explosive. It's like he's, like, once again, like, sounds like Delphi. Two people. Like, he can just turn on you and just explode with anger. I think that's also a drug thing. Uh, Drug-related thing, too, over time. Someone might live uh, or have connections with a city, like a big city. Hmm, group fights. So there's been fights around this amongst the people that know. I don't know what they're fighting over. April. And we got ran over, hit and run. Hit by a vehicle. Oh, gosh. And we saw that car accident. So hmm, this is interesting. There could be some other victim somewhere uh, that this person has, I don't know, ran over. Maybe, yeah, this is bloody crazy. And then we got in water, drowning, submerged. So as I say too, like if I pull out way too many, I mean, there's so many cards in here, but if I pull out too many, it can be a little crazy. It can be a bit ridiculous after a while. So as I said, see, look at that. Desert dry hot. Maybe he lives in a desert area now. Um, but these could be other victims. I don't think this person's just going to go and kill two girls and then just stop. I just don't get that idea. I feel like this is a repeat offender. Um, yep. And I feel like there's a sexual element with this one too. But it's more about power. I'm telling you, it's more about power. You can get any more ideas here, please. About the perpetrator. I will do a separate reading with physical characteristics, just because this is a bit long now. Um, I wanted to throw out. Thank you physical uh what are we looking at around the perpetrator please spirit of elizabeth elizabeth and lyric what does the perpetrator you know can you tell us more about him please there we are mm -hmm, joy yeah he gets a lot of joy out of his but i'm telling you now we're seeing the outdoors the trees the remote land and the trail and you know what this tells me that he loves being outdoors uh, he might even have some knowledge, like bush knowledge. He knows how to, to survive, perhaps, outdoors. You know, he has been doing it and uh, may even, for some reason, I don't know why the birds are significant. I keep seeing, like, bird watching and it just may be something he likes doing. He might really just enjoy watching wildlife, you know, quietly and just sitting there watching them. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, let's see how far does he, if he is alive now, how far does he, you know, uh, well, actually, no, what I'll ask first up is how far away did he live from those wildlife, um, that, that, uh, wildlife park where they were found at Seven Bridges. How far did he live from there, please? How far... Well, months is coming up, so we know they were found within months. Uh, I just want to get more info. How far was he living from that Seven Bridges Wildlife Park, please? Because I, I believe there was a residence somewhere. You know, he comes from somewhere. Um, thank you, angels. They're a bit hard to shuffle on these ones. Uh, just bear with me. I know you guys do. You're amazing. God, guys, 15 to 35 kilometers. He's local, I'm telling you. Not far at all. Not far at all. A drive away. Oh, gee. So where does he live now? Like, I'll put that back in. Where does he live now? Oh, God. Zero to 15 kilometers. So even closer? 
So it it looks to me like he's still in the in the area. Like he's still in the area. I mean, with that first one we saw, he might have been, you know, I don't know, a few suburbs away or something. But it looks like he's right in the area. So in other words, it tells me he has ties. He has a history there. He has connections there. Um, it's familiar. So it looks like he's still there now. Um, I it's such a weird thing because I'm trying to tune in. Is he alive? Is he not alive? It's just such a weird feeling. I don't know why I can't work it out. Is he alive? I just want to see. Is there something going to tell me? Is he alive or is he deceased? Is he alive? I'm trying to get an energy. Well, I feel like he's alive. When we look at this, this very vibrant, very um, fire is alive. It's movement. Um, so I feel like, yep, yeah, definitely. I feel like he is alive. Well, there you go. It tells me. <laughs> so let's get an idea. What energy is he in currently right now around this whole thing right now? What is he feeling around this whole thing around this case crime that he's gotten away with so far? What is he feeling? Oh God, it drives me nuts when this happens. Yep. Yeah, let's see. What's he feeling? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Recovery. So he knows that he's only the one and whoever's close to him that has the answers. That the police, you know, he's got the key to the answers, to the truth, and the police will never find out what happened. That's where he's kind of smug about this, right? Oh, I just saw him laughing. I just saw him, like, snickering and... um. Uh, what am I saying? Like a, uh, well, I can't even think. It's like a smile, but it's a creepy smile. And I saw teeth missing. Like I see teeth, it, whether, whether it be one or two teeth, but I saw the teeth miss, missing up on the top, top part of his jaw. Yep. Hmm. And he likes wearing his hat. You know, I see this really old hat. It's like he's had it for years. Like he wears his one hat. It's like a cap. Uh, but maybe like a fisherman's cap or something. I'm trying to work it out how to explain it. It's not like a baseball cap or anything. It's, it might even be a bit big for his head. But it looks like, um, and I, I see it like a, a dirty white. A dirty old white colour. Could be like white slash grey. Um, something he likes wearing. And it's really worn. Like it's it's old and ragged and he likes it for some reason. Maybe that's part of a trophy. I don't know. I don't know, but... He sticks to routine. He likes the familiar as well. So it could be why he's holding on to things. Four. Okay, so I didn't put it. I actually didn't put a thing in there, but I will leave it out anyway. But could be the fourth of them, like the fourth month. April did say April somewhere. That could be significant. But I want to get an idea like, yeah, it's, the justice card never came up in this. But uh, we'll ask quickly, will it be resolved Will this finally be resolved one day? Please, Spirit. Seven of Wands. Mm, the Fool. The Knight of Swords. This is someone who's guarded. And look at the barn. Oh, my God. And the children. I'm telling you, he's, he might even have pets, dogs, and, uh, yeah, dogs, cats, things like that. Um, that might live on property or some kind of old country so i don't know where he lives but it's 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 interesting We've got the barn there and there's something guarded so i feel like the information is guarded for some reason these people are loyal so it could be that he has dirt on them that he knows that that they know if they say anything he can send them to jail over something so yeah something the fool once again at night around trees paddock it's interesting the paddocks here Hmm, there might be something on his property that he has evidence with that's still there. It could be the car. It's interesting about the car and the sun. There could be light shed on this. And that's a knight. Uh, he's carrying a knife. So it could be a weapon here too. Yeah, children. Oh my gosh, children. Hmm, yep, he's got children. Um... Yeah, he's not good with money. He's, he doesn't have a lot of money. He's not good with money. They're like very poor in a lot of ways. The world. Yeah, I'm not sure. It does show like the end of a journey, completion, 
success here. What's the success? Three of Swords, heartbreak. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Judgment's coming in. Yeah, but it's his own conscience that will catch up with him. Yeah, I think it might be his own conscience. Um, yeah, he's got to meet his maker one day. I don't know if we're really going to know the truth, but can you give me an idea, please, Spirit? Is there any news coming through regarding this case that's, you know, so many years old now? Is there any news, please, Spirit, regarding this case? The 7th and April, May, June. So we might hear something around. Once again, April's coming up. Interesting. The 7th of April, uh, 7th of May, 7th of June, or it might be July. It's in July here as well. Take it as it resonates, guys. It's, it's not always set in stone, but these can guide us along the way. Um, I will do a separate reading regarding the physical characteristics, any letters that might come up, just because this reading's been fairly long already. Um, but yeah, I hope this has given you some insight or confirmed things for you and yeah, it might trigger some things within you that you've thought all along, you know, and, and other things that I haven't heard about, please let me know where you're, you know, what you've been thinking along the way as to who it could be or, you know, what articles you've read and, and information that you feel could be relevant. Um, yes. And I look forward to connecting with you guys next time when I do the other part of the reading. Love and blessings guys. Bye.